So doing a classic vegetable gardening in the subtropics and tropics, you know, the zone eights, the zone nines, the zone tens can be really challenging. And there's two things that can make it extra challenging for us. It has to do with the amount of pest pressure we get and the fact that, well, our soil's not great. But finding ideas for like doing organic fertilizers, organic pesticides, it's a very like tight rope that you can walk. But I found this old gardener trick for Floridians, and I think will work for a lot of other people too, that both creates an organic pesticide and an organic fertilizer, and it's really easy to do. And you may already have the ingredients in your kitchen or your garden. So the thing is, is that down here in Florida, a lot of us grow oranges. We have orange trees. That's not really surprising. But the thing is, is once you've juiced the oranges and or eaten them, well, you're left with a lot of peels. And that's where the old Florida gardener trick comes in, is that you can take those orange peels and make orange peel fertilizer, orange peel pesticide, and it's totally organic. It's coming from natural stuff. So that's a good thing. So how is orange peels gonna fertilize your vegetables? Well, according to the USDA, orange peels are a really good source of calcium and potassium. Now, orange peels have a lot of different minerals in them from iron, magnesium, phosphorus, but they're really on the low side compared to when it comes to calcium and potassium. And when it comes to orange peels, about every 100 grams of orange peels that you have, you're gonna get about 161 milligrams of calcium and 212 grams milligrams of potassium. But how is an orange peel going to act both as a fertilizer and a pesticide? Well, orange peel pesticide has a chemical within it that actually is used in organic pesticides. A common pesticide chemical is limonene and a natural occurring place for limonene is orange peels. Yes, this chemical actually helps break down and deter things like aphids and mealybugs and all the little sluggies and things that want to eat your plants. So by using a orange peel, you can both help give food to the plants and keep the bugs away. But a word of warning, even on an organic pesticide, it can hurt aphids, it can hurt the bugs you don't want in your vegetables, but make sure you don't put it in places like native wildflower gardens or butterfly gardens because it will hurt the bugs that you do want too. So it's a fertilizer, it's a pesticide. This has gotta be a really complicated recipe then, right? Wrong. Get yourself some oranges and use them to either juice or eat. Oranges. We're wearing the orange shirt today. Put your oranges in a boiling pot and put enough water so that all the orange peels are below water. Boil your orange peels for 20 minutes. Take out the orange peel juice, separate it from your orange peels. Mix the orange peel juice. For every one quart of orange peel juice, do two quarts of water. Take your orange peel fertilizer slash orange peel pesticide, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna rinse your plants, whether it's tomatoes or peppers, cabbages, strawberries, rinse down the leaves and add some to the ground below. While you're doing this, allow your orange peels to cool down. Go ahead and chop up those orange peels. Go ahead and put the orange peels at the base of your different vegetables. Over time, they'll break down and release what's left of the calcium and potassium into the ground, helping create some additional organic matter for your plants and help them in the long run. The question is, does it work? Well, I think so, and I'm a big fan. And if you wanna check out the giant harvest I got, check it out right here. And if you wanna see the original harvest with the oranges, check this out right here. Or if you're looking for another way to amend your soil in an organic way, check out this video here and YouTube thinks you'll like this. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye.